Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 12.3, differentiating x to the power n. 12.3 represents chapter 12, section 3 of the Pearson A-level maths, pure maths, year 1 textbook. Let's go through the key facts of this section. If y is equal ax to the power n for some constants a and n, then the gradient function dy over dx is given by bringing down the power and subtracting 1 from the power. We can rewrite this statement as if f of x is equal ax to the power n for some constant a and n, then f dash of x is given by bringing down the power and then subtracting 1 from the power. Now f of x basically represents y and f dash of x basically represents dy over dx. These are the key facts of 12.3 differentiating x to the power n. Let's have a look at example 1. Find dy by dx when y is equal to part a 7x cubed. So in part A, we've got y equal 7x cubed. We want to work out dy over dx. Okay, so we've got dy over dx is equal. We can bring down the power. So we've got 3 times 7, which is 21. x to the power, subtract 1 from 3. This gives us 2. This completes part A of the example. Let's have a look at part B. So now we've got y equal minus 4x to the power a half. We want to work out dy over dx. So we've got dy over dx equal, bring down the power, so a half times minus 4, that's minus 2. x to the power, a half minus 1 is minus a half. This completes part B of the example. Let's have a look at part C. So in part C, we've got y equal 3x to the power minus 2. We want to work out dy over dx. So dy over dx is equal, bring down the power, so minus 2 times 3, which is minus 6. x to the power, minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. Right, this completes uh, part C of the example. Let's have a look at part D. So now we've got y equal 8x to the power 7 over 3x. Before we differentiate this, we need to simplify it using laws of indices. So we've got y equal 8 over 3, x to the power. When we're dividing and we've got the same basis, we can subtract the powers. So the power of x over here is 1. We've got 7 take away 1, which is 6. This is now in a form that can be differentiated. So we can proceed forward and work out dy over dx. So dy over dx is equal, bring down the power, so 6 times 8 over 3, which is equal to 16. x to the power, 6 take away 1, which is 5. This completes part D of the example. Let's move on to part E. Now part E is looking juicy. We need to differentiate y equals square root 36 x to the power 3. Okay. Now, we cannot differentiate as of yet because we've got a square root. So let's rewrite this as y equal in bracket 36x cubed raised to the power a half. From chapter 1 algebraic expressions, we know that square root is the same as taking power a half. Okay, let's take this a step further. So y is equal 36 to the power a half. And then we've got x cubed to the power a half. So 36 to the power a half is square root of 36. So this is 6 lots of x to the power 3 times a half, which is 3 over 2. Now we can differentiate this. We can work out dy over dx. So dy over dx is equal, bring down the power, so 3 over 2 times 6 is 9. So we've got 9x to the power 3 over 2 take away 1, which is a half. So that there completes part e of the example. This completes overall example 1. Let's have a look at example 2. Ladies and gents, it says, find the gradient of the curve with the equation y equals 3 square root x at the point where part a, x is equal 4, part b, x is equal 9. Firstly, we need to find the gradient function dy over dx. Dy dx helps us calculate the gradient at any point on a given curve. 
Let's take the curve y equal 3 square root x and let's differentiate it with respect to x. Okay, so we've got y equal 3 square root x. This can be rewritten as y equal 3x to the power a half. If you're taking square root, you're taking power a half. Now we can work out the gradient function dy over dx. We simply bring down the power, so 3 times a half is 3 over 2. x to the power, subtract 1 from a half, that gives us minus a half. Okay, so we can rewrite this as dy over dx is equal 3 over 2 square root x. Right, so now we're going to work out the gradient of the curve at the point where x is equal 4. So, dy over dx calculated when x is equal 4 is given by substituting x is equal 4. Okay, so we've got 3 over 2 multiplied by square root of 4 is 2. So that's 3 over 4. That is the gradient of the curve at the point where x is equal 4. Let's move on to part B. This time we want the gradient of the curve at the point x is equal 9. So we can substitute x equal 9 into the gradient function dy over dx. So we've got 3 over 2 square root 9. So that's 3 over 2 multiplied by square root of 9 is 3. This gives us a half. Okay, these 3's cancel out, that becomes 1. So we've got a half. So the gradient of the curve at the point where x is equal 9 is a half. Moving on to an exam style question. Given that 2y squared minus x cubed equals 0 and y is greater than 0, find dy of dx. The first step is to make y the subject in the given equation. So let's write down the equation. 2y squared minus x cubed equals 0. So 2y squared is equal x cubed which means that y squared is equal a half x cubed, hence y is equal plus or minus square root a half x cubed. Let's go back to the technicality of the question. We are told that y is greater than 0. So since y is greater than 0, we take the positive square root for y. So y is equal square root a half x cubed. Now we need to remove the square root before we differentiate this. So we've got y equal a half x cubed in bracket to the power a half. Let's apply some laws of indices. So we can rewrite this as y equal a half raised to the power a half x cubed raised to the power a half. Let's have a look at this coefficient over here. So a half raised to the power a half is basically square root of 1 over 2. If we rewrite this, we get square root 2 over 2. Okay, so y is equal square root 2 over 2, x to the power 3 times a half, which is 3 over 2. Now we can work out dy over dx. Okay, so dy over dx is given by Bringing down the power, so we've got 3 over 2 times square root 2 over 2. This is 3 square root 2 over 4. x to the power, 3 over 2 take away 1, which is a half. That there, ladies and gents, is the dy over dx. This completes the exam style question and this teaching video 12.3, differentiating x to the power n. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. Turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.